so excited. I'm always yeah. great. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for anybody, especially the big stars, to stop by and yes. be in our little dog and pony show here. But tonight I'm particularly excited about America's British sweetheart, Emily Blunt, is here. <laughs> with the Jungle Cruise. She's in the, with The Rock in The yeah. Jungle Cruise. And America's American sweetheart, Bob Costas, is here. Yeah. We're going to talk about we're going to talk about uh, his new show. And we're going to talk about the Olympics. Oh yeah, because he he he, yeah. he hosted the Olympics forever, right? Just forever. Turns out now that he doesn't work for NBC anymore, he can confess that he he hates them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, know if that's that. true. I, I don't that. actually. I might I be putting that. words. We'll find out. Stick around. Yeah. We'll find out. Yeah. Whether I whether I'm lying, <laughs> folks. The raging Delta variant isn't the only summer bummer out there. July has featured a whole host of weird and terrifying weather events. We're seeing ice quakes, fire tornadoes, and heat domes. Heat domes, of course, named for the structures we'll all eventually be fighting in for the amusement of Tina Turner. <laughs> Remember when scientists were telling us that all the carbon we're putting in the atmosphere would come back to haunt us eventually? Well, it's Wednesday, July the eventualieth. Yesterday, the New York Times reported that in the 21st century, summers in Boston have come to resemble 20th century summers in New York. New York, which has come to resemble Philadelphia, which in turn has become hotter than Washington, D.C., or Atlanta, and summers in Washington and Atlanta are hotter than summers in Tampa. Tampa, of course, remains the worst possible version of itself. <laughs> the... I don't know. I don't know. The chickens have come home to roost, and they are deep fried. And I'll tell you all about it in the segment we all saw coming but did nothing to stop. Climate changed. You should have listened to Al Gore, you dummies. He's a climate zaddy. Mama-like. First up, the city that never sleeps got another reason not to, because the sun is glowing red in New York. You know what they say, red skies at night, sailors delight. Red sun in the sky, we're all gonna die. <laughs> so why is the sun god angry at us? Well, as we speak, 78 wildfires are raging in the western states. It's an apocalyptic vision of the future predicted by the Book of Revelation, Nostradamus, and the opening credits of Bonanza. <laughs> Good news, if you're old enough to get that joke, you probably won't have to worry about climate change. <laughs> Turns out... I get it. I get it. <laughs> Turns out the red sun is because light in the atmosphere is being scattered willy-nilly after smoke from those blazes burning in the western United States made its way across the continent. But that's not fair. They make weed legal out west, and now they're hotboxing the rest of us. <laughs> and it's not just New York. Yesterday, there was a thick blanket of wildfire haze around the Great Lakes. For more on this phenomenon, we turn to Late Show's climate scientist, Deep Purple. What's the scientific name for this haze? Thank you, Ian. Now, a lot of this smoke is being generated by something called the bootleg fire, which is the largest wildfire so far this year in the United States. It is so huge that it is generating its own weather. Now, that sounds frightening, but the Forest Service is trying to keep the public calm with this new PSA. Only you can prevent. What? It generates its own weather? Screw it! I'm switching sides! All hail the mighty flame god! I will now do your bidding! <laughs> I just started the fire! Do 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 I'm worried about, I'm worried about. I'm worried about smoldering. I'm worried about smoke. That's smoldering the bear, not smoking. Oh, I smoldered. Oh, yeah, yeah. The bootleg fire changes the weather because it's created something called a pyrocumulus cloud, also known as a cloud of fire, also known as a fire in the sky. <laughs> these, these fires were caused by a drought, but some places have too much water, like the central Chinese city of Zhengzhou where from Saturday to Tuesday, 24.3 inches of rain fell, causing massive flooding with cars floating downtown. And one guy even shot phone footage of fish swimming in the street. It's all in the new Pixar movie, 
Finding Nemo on the sidewalk, my God, what have we done? We'll be right back with Emily. <laughs>